Namaste and welcome to our current affairs show with me Poojita Krishna. In today's episode, uh I have some breaking news for you and uh and a world exclusive from the UK on a matter that uh, many of you I'm sure are aware of. Uh and uh, this is to do with the recent troubling event in Leicester in UK and the subsequent uh um and um, might i also add that this matter is now being currently investigated by the british authorities so to talk us through these um, this incident and uh, what happened subsequently i have with me a very special guest uh, pandit satish sharma ji namaste uh, he is as you all know uh, a dharmic scholar hindu leader advocate of hindu rights in the uk especially and many other things besides so it is an a delight and an honor pandit ji namaste and welcome to the show pujita ji pranam namaskar jai shri ram to you uh, thank you for that very generous introduction um, uh, there are as you say some aspects of this latest news in lester which are it's important that we get them out to our audience it's important that we discuss them so that people understand some of the dynamics of what's going on so uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak and uh, to talk about this on chitti media ji um pandit ji i am going to uh, speak very less today and i will hand over to you and um uh since you have watched this and observed this incident play out the way it has and you have a ringside view i'm sure so uh please uh, talk us through what really happened so that um, this growing rise of uh, or growing instances of hindu phobia especially in the uk um you know so that we you know we are we as hindus are able to respond to it as one voice so over to you pandit ji thank you very much pooj sadi um so if i can just first highlight a couple of the points which are of great concern one is that uh, whatever it was that happened the catalyst is also and also the consequences normally after a period of time they settle down and the community sits together and has a conversation and whatever misunderstandings have occurred are addressed and then tranquility uh, is reestablished that doesn't seem to be happening at this moment in time i'm a bit concerned that there are attempts to prolong to continue to incite and also of great concern for the first time is there are attempts to spin this into a much much larger rhetoric a much larger um problem is being uh, created the first thing i established is that this was nothing to do with any cricketing match or any cricketing incident at all further investigation then revealed that the first act of intercommunity conflict occurred outside of a house where a member of our hindu community had um, they were engaged in ganesh chaturthi celebrations and a small tent had been erected in the garden of the house on private property a murti had been placed there ganesh ji's murti had been um, it was uh, uh, sthapit there and puja had started and the puja was done in the mornings and the evenings and there was bhajan kirtan and celebrations uh, the family has maharashtrian origins and we know that in maharashtra G- ganesh chaturthi is celebrated with a great deal of passion light and um very very active bhakti and so this was being replicated there in this family's home near to those premises there was a masjid and it would appear that members of the congregation were unhappy at these proceedings and as a consequence a van arrived outside of this house and in the van there were five young men who stepped out five young muslim boys and eggs were thrown at the tent an attempt was made to perhaps uh, target the murti itself but as a consequence of these eggs being thrown and the uh, the the puja being attacked a group of young men who were inside who were actually participating in the bhajan kirtan they rushed out to see what was going on they identified the five assailants uh, the van immediately fled four of the assailants uh, fled as well when they saw a large number of young men emerging one of them was apprehended the the group managed to confine him and there was a scuffle which ensued i'm not going to go into any more detail but the young man was sent to hospital to be checked up and everything else and uh, uh, his injuries and so on are being established but it's not been um, publicized by anybody as having been a serious assault or anything like that at this moment in time 
the police were involved, community leaders engaged with both parties. And the young, the group of young Hindus were also interviewed. And they were asked the questions of what had happened and who had it been who engaged in the altercation. And it was quite an open and frank conversation. Evidence was exchanged. And the police asked for the community, the Hindu community, to actually become tranquil and please remain indoors for the next couple of days. We do not want this to escalate and we'll do everything we can. So the police responded in the manner that uh, was appropriate. The Hindu community complied. Nothing actually mm -hmm. happened. The following day, there wasn't much of a, uh, a noise. But on the evening afterwards, what then happened was a large number of Muslim young men came into the area and mm. you may have seen there are multiple videos yeah. um, and what actually happened was that property was attacked and individuals attacked a young man was attacked with a knife um, fortunately he didn't sustain any injuries um, his aunt who was trying to intervene um, she ha had a, a blow to her face and she was hurt a little but thankfully hasn't been particularly harmed um, Doors were kicked in, doors of Hindu homes were kicked in. Um, any indication that a Hindu lives in a particular home, whether it was a dhwaj or whether it was a uh, an orange flag as is associated with Sanatani traditions, a saffron flag, some of those were taken away, they were damaged and torn down. And I must say that at this moment, the response from the community has also been to remove all vestiges, anything that would indicate that it's a Hindu house have now been removed from the front. So property was injured, doors were kicked in. The police again engaged with the community and reinforced the idea to our Sanatani community, the Hindu community, that they mustn't um, escalate the issue. So again, they remained indoors. And the police then deployed drones the following day to take images and capture images of all the perpetrators of the violence. And the following evening, equally, there were very large numbers and uh, we have seen quite troubling videos where the police were then targeted with abuse and uh, physical violence. But even more drone footage was taken. On the third day, the announcement came that arrests were now being made and some 23 arrests were announced. Mm -hmm. And I think it was the announcement of the arrest that suddenly um, dampened the whole issue back down again. How did this even play out as a Hindu Muslim, as in a you know pa India Pakistan? Um, how did that even happen? When when we clearly mentioned that it, this has nothing to do with the Muslim angle at all. We have a very large Gujarati Muslim community in Leicester mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So we have Gujarati Muslims who are from India who would be hypothetically supporting India in a cricket match. They wouldn't be supporting Pakistan. Mm, interesting. Mm. <laughs> Um, mix. So yeah. in that scenario, the question then arises, how on earth did these commentators determine that it's a Hindu-Muslim issue? Exactly. Right? And this is a key point which the police should be taking on board yeah. and recognizing and maybe even using it as a filter to determine yeah. what is insightful, sorry, inciting exactly. um, propaganda. And that would be a, a very big uh, issue. Nobody on the Hindu community side, nobody on the India cricketing side or in the residents of that community has spun this with a Hindu Muslim angle mm. that has not come from the community. And so there is clearly a mischief maker uh, right. present. Now, the, this mischief maker has access to a very well established, as we are now seeing the evidence for it, ecosystem. Mm. And this ecosystem seems to have actually kicked off even prior to any evidence having been gathered. Absolutely. We saw prominent Muslim Twitter handles immediately alleging that these were Hindutva thugs <laughs> without any evidence whatsoever. We saw prominent anti-India journalists also tweeting the same trope. <laughs>